No. Ah, right. That's so stupid. All right, that was a quick welcome back again. It's me, Mario. Hello. Okay. I, I don't understand how I actually messed that up. Hey, what's up, Wilco? That, that's why we messed up. Deep down, I knew Wilco typed high as I already had a closed chat. Yeah, that, that was annoying. Pace was bad anyway, so it doesn't really matter. A, it would be incredibly hard to PB with that Fire C exit. Possible, but very hard. And yeah, thank you for the good luck, Wilco. Appreciate it. What do you think Mario dreams about? Uh, that every runner finally gets the time they're happy with, so he never has to, like, repeat once a million times every stream. How was runs uh, for you today, Wilco? I saw the one that had like uh, small, small, small PB pigs in like. Actually, I don't think it was that small, but I think it was like best possible time, like 49 15 in Rainbow Ride. I saw a tiny bit on that run, but that was the only I saw today. Thank you, Prince. Wait, what was the... Wait, I, I guess it would show you. Oh, uh, it was cannonless. I was like, was it a side one? Cannonless? Not too common. Oh, only 1k more for the VIP badge? Let's go, Jason. I mean, if you get that today, that will actually be the third VIP today. Poor cheesers. Quickly, quickly jumping up the spots. 
Dude, I saw you golden like Fire Sea at least twice recently, Wilco. W what is your time and what strats and lag reduction do you do? The thing is, like, I didn't catch the actual Fire Seas themselves. I saw it on the splits that it was gold twice recently. One forty eight oh two. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. That beats my fire C. Uh, I have a, a point thirteen. So yeah, yours beat mine by a little bit. Do you uh, do the side flip to the pole or no? No, I do CCM 100 coin uh, last. I always start with wall kicks will work, then uh, penguin, and then 100 coin. Hardest I was ever cheesed in the alley. Uh, I don't know. Probably been too many times to remember. O honestly, to be fair though, I don't really like that term. Often people use it to anything they're losing to, so... I never really use that term, just because I feel like... I got destroyed. You do the side flip. Do you know how much that saves? Because I think I do most lag reductions. I'm not sure if there is any I'm missing. I think maybe I it's some lag reduction like with the long jumps post the first red. I think it might be some lag reduction when you do that wall kick that I don't do. But I think I do every other lag reduction. But uh, yeah, I don't do a quick throw either, and I don't do the side flip. Uh, yeah, I was not gonna reach, so I had to do that. My Kirby and Brinstar plays fair. Fair and beautiful. Yeah, I, I know the side flip saves a little. I just never knew how much it saves, so I was like curious. Down throw on that spot is fair. Kirby's trash. He deserves to have something going going for him. Besides, Kirby's cute too. Just look at him when he wins or when he talks. Nah, I, I, that won't be necessary, Wilco. It won't be necessary. I mean, if you want to do it for yourself, then obviously feel more than free, but... Uh, don't do it... Uh, because of me. I, I know it's not like a big time difference. So. Kirby with Falco lasers is pretty pog. I do remember that clip with Axe and Sfat. With Axe as Kirby. That was pretty funny. It was funny in the Iron Man at Summit. It was only one star, but I had to play Mewtwo King's Cheek and my Kirby took the first star. That was funny. The Ghost Kirby is wild.
Yeah. I mean, Fire C, it's just stupid. It's like one of those splits where you actually never should mess up. But if you do mess it up once, I feel like it often like snowballs. I saw Simply have three good runs lately, miss the cycle. And that fucking hurts. Because especially like in 120, you do it like an hour in essentially. Yeah, I, I figured that would be the prediction when you asked if I did, uh, when you asked about when I do CCM hundreds. Ah, no penguin trick. Yo, thank you so much, chili boy. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I don't think we've ever done that best before. At least not. Uh, that I remember or have seen. Alright. Dude, I, I need to uh, re-practice that. It's like I'm timing the camera incorrectly and I don't even remember like how I'm timing it incorrectly there. Uh, again? Press the kick too early again. Yeah, this is a bad hundred. Uh, CCM hundreds. Oh no. Ah. Uh, I mean, if I have to grab that different red coin that I did grab, it doesn't lose that much, no. It's not too bad. I mean, I don't know exactly how much it loses, but I can't imagine it's even two seconds. I feel like it got it's for less than two seconds. Yo, Captain, thank you so much for three months with Prime. I really appreciate that. Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime. Please side flip. Oh, bad angle. Dude. Why is this controller so bad with side flips? And my suffering. How much does Switch Prime cost? I mean, uh, Amazon Prime depends on country, I imagine. And if you have uh, Amazon Prime, then you automatically have a Twitch Prime. And get, dude, okay. I messed up the start, I think, three times today, somehow. That's very sad. Here 
<laughs> yeah, Jason, I will, uh, I'll fix it as soon as I can. Beaned it. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, no. It actually does make sense, uh, Hosh. Uh, the thing is, so the reason why the side flip for Rainbow Ride Reds is annoying is that you need to run enough of a distance before you can side flip. And you have so little little room to work with that it's easy to uh, like don't like it's easy to not run far enough is what i'm trying to say like sure it's still the same distance but the fact that you have so little room to work with compared to most side clips where you have like almost endless room uh it will impact I think SM64 is such a popular speed game, partially due to it being a very iconic game, but the game has very uh, cool movement and cool tricks. And on top of that, it's pretty easy to follow the run as a spectator. If you have someone to watch a speedrun of this game, let's say like 70 or 120 or whatever, most stuff, it's easy to like understand what's going on. Doesn't mean it's easy to do, but it's easy to understand what's going on for the most part. So that's also like a big advantage. Like compared to like SRM, Ocarina of Time, I mean, I feel like I don't understand anything what's going on. And I think a lot of people would feel the same. I mean, I watched like a long video explaining SRM. It probably was like 35, 40 minutes long. And I actually watched the whole thing. And I still felt like a question mark after the video. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you'll have a wonderful one. Are you? Oh no, 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 no. 
I, I uh, didn't get a straight down angle. I was like looking down left, and that's why the first bully didn't go down. Uh, best Mario games in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I would only, if we only count main line Mario games. <sighs> hmm. I mean, this would be my number one. I'm not sure afterwards. Probably first Paper Mario, and then maybe Thousand Year Door. That'll probably be my. Actually, would you count the Paper Marios? I don't know. It's so hard to say. It's so many good games. Paper Mario with Thousand Year Door is a hot take. It's only a hot take because most people don't have taste. Don't get me wrong, like, I've actually swapped my opinion over the years regarding which Paper Mario of the two I think is better. But the fact that it's a hot take, it just proves that most people have no taste. I mean, don't be sad. I, I mean, I bait, I would give the two Paper Marios like the same grade, or essentially the same grade. And as I said, I've actually swapped opinion over the years which one I prefer. They are that close to me. If you ask me like six months from now which one of the two I prefer, I might have changed my opinion again. Yeah, I mean, I would say there there is certain things Thousand Year Door does a lot better, especially like the battles themselves. That is like the biggest plus with Thousand Year Door over the original, hands down. Here we go!
why is water level music always so awesome? They have to make up for the lacking gameplay. That's why. They, they pick the best songs in game for water levels. Because they, they know themselves that the water levels are the least interesting. God, I got the wrong camera. Okay, this is already super bad. I can't remember the last time I messed up the camera there. Alright, already trash. No, please don't glitch through. Dude, how much un like bad luck can you have on this stupid ass? Dude, I hate this star. If someone says this is their favorite star in 70, that's like another proof for people with no taste. Oh my god, why did it land immediately? Does anyone ever pick R&D stars as their favorite? Probably some people in Twitch chat just trying to get a reaction out of a streamer. Uh, I could see that. But then it's not actually their favorite, they're just saying it. TTC 100s, uh, that is the best star in 70. What time do I usually stream? I think for this game, historically, probably starting around 3... Between 3 and 4 p.m. Uh, but lately, it has been quite a bit later. But I want to go back to earlier. Is it like sometimes? And by sometimes, I actually mean very often. <laughs> my sleep schedule gets messed up but I kind of want to <coughs> change my starting time to 1 or 2 p.m. local time This run is another meme. Yo, Dan, thank you for 58 months. I haven't bonked there in forever. This star, to be fair, has been weirdly consistent lately, so I can't complain actually. What's my local time now? It's like uh, 8 45 p.m. Go in, please. 
Hego. Dude, can I please get the long jump there? Nope. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Here we go. Yeah, this is extremely bad. We needed this time save. Dude, can you enter the painting? Come on. What's your problem, Mario? What's your problem? Get a fat PD. Sounds like a good idea, right? <sighs> I mean, to be fair, we did gold TTC earlier today. Yeah, I mean, saving one second in THI is kind of tragic, since it's a 10 second time save, and it's only 3 stars. Luckier Twin 2. Thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it, buddy. And with that one, we're only one little sub away from today's first hype train. Can we do it? Here we go! TTM Reds is another cool star, yeah. That's also a good pick. One hundred percent required. Here we go. Yeah, still only save point five seconds, but yeah, TTM was good. In PB, but yeah, it was solid TTM. No, move. That's bad. 
I mistimed the jump very, very slightly. Yeah, we'll basically need to rely on uh, playing perfect now. Probably losing 4.5 or maybe no. We're probably losing five seconds to gold. Yeah, probably five. So probably a 48, 18 best possible time leaving SL. Ah, uh, okay. Make that 19. Yeah, make that 19. I mean, I know about the prediction. We already did complete one run today. But yeah, even if this run is 100% dead, I mean, it's a chance I still complete it. I mean, the run earlier today was completely dead, and we did complete it. <sighs> so yeah, we'll see. See what happens. Up, Jamie. This PB was like best pace ever uh, at the time, through uh, through quite a few splits upstairs, and it still has my best HMC and Rainbow Ride exit. Stop.
Tickle. That ledge grab might have cost the gold. That was gold piece. Not sure if it is any longer. Cost of the gold. Actually, maybe not. Did I lose a second? Maybe. I was like pretty delayed. I was like waiting a tiny bit, thought it was maybe gonna come down, and then I still made it pass super clearly. I had a bad angle. I did not trust that angle to work. Side flip only loses about a second, so not too bad. It's honestly probably less than a second for me. It's probably like 0.8 or 0.9. Probably about four seconds behind gold. Four point five, maybe.
That happened in the gold earlier today, too, where I got that ledge grab. <sighs> Not holding A long enough. Okay. Is it meme? I actually don't know. 29, 30. Uh, meme is back. Not even a 2x, but. Ugh. I mean, you gotta farm for content, right? You gotta fucking farm for content. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. As soon as I have bad runs. I used to happen to play good upstairs. But when I have good runs upstairs, I just can't play good. Yeah, this is a... Uh, 2244. And I mean, yeah. Like, like 2927 Wet Dry World is like, very bad. Well, that's bad for us, but a mean PB, nonetheless. Yeah, really pace pal friendly uh, splits, starting in BBH. Dude, how did we lose 10 seconds in BBH? That's actually so sad. Yo, luckier twin, thank you so much for the 5 gift subs. That was impressive by Tiny Rosa. The channel point reward to predict that this run was gonna complete as a prediction. And that was like in, I think going into SSL. The power of the stars is Yo Bonzo, thank you so much for the gift sub. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing though, the, the TTC time save. That's like 25 plus second goal that's split by four-ish. So it's essentially 30 second time saving TTC. Listen, everybody. That's why I even runs with like trash or like being plus 20 could like realistically be brought back. This was overall a pretty solid tippy though. This is another sub 9 tippy. Mario. Yeah, thank you so much for your 50 bits. That's right. Well, a meme it is. Yep, 
yeah. I'm just gonna tweet it out. Yeah, this is a uh, since we got our first 48th, this is our we have PB'd six times with a 48. I think we had like 13 or 14 PB's on 49. Yo, press finger at 300 bits. Thank you so much for the congrats, chat. <sighs> yeah. Uh, 48 2x will probably happen uh, two PBs from now. Uh, wait, I guess that's how the splitter didn't catch up. And yeah, thank you so much for an additional 50 bits, Hashram. Yeah. They probably 2x will be 2 PBs for now. I mean, it is, it is pretty ironic though, it is pretty ironic though, how often we like, manage to do these so type of things. Uh, 